Hello. Welcome to the video. Today we will take a first look at Hero Generation 10 for State of Survival. If your state is currently on Gen 9, it should switch to Gen 10 in 2 weeks after your Migo event ends. In today's video we will talk about the backstories, military stats and hero skills of each hero. Credits go to Kratos and Collab Team for discovering these files in the source code. I'll link both their socials in the description. If you enjoy my videos, please smash the like and subscribe buttons for more State of Survival related content. Let's take a look at Infantry Hero Laura. Laura Mendez, the youngest top-tier assassin in the history of Dark Wolf, has been working for the organization since she came of age. Any important assignment can be safely handed over to her. Whether it's gathering intel, escorting goods, or assassinating target, Laura ha hasn't yet failed a mission. Laura's childhood memories are blank. Her fellow agents know little about her private life, except that she was taken in as an orphan and raised by the Dark Wolf. Since then, she has played a crucial role in several internal cleanup operations. After the White Wolf disappeared during a military assignment, Dark Wolf gave Laura the mission of finding him, no matter dead or alive. Even for Laura, this proved to be a bit daunting. Thus, Laura began a months-long solitary search. Let's take a look at Infantry Hero Laura. Laura Mendez is Gen 10's Infantry Hero. Let's analyze her military stats first before diving into her hero skills. If you max Laura out, you will get a plus 1194.8% attack and defense bonus. A maxed out Derek, Generation 9's Infantry Hero, provides you with a 1030% attack and defense boost. This is an increase of 160%. This falls within a pretty normal upgrade scheme of attack and defense boosts. In theory every new generation is stronger than the last one. It's mostly hero skills who determine if a hero is better or worse than the previous one. Let's look at Laura's skills. Her first skill provides an additional 100% damage each round to the target. The second skill deals another 10% damage, on top of the 100% from the first skill. Her last skill reduces damage of her own infantry every 5 rounds and reduces 50% damage of the target. At first glance, Laura looks 10,000 times better skill-wise than Derek. A former puppet artist, String's fascination with puppetry started as a child. He crafted all kinds of puppets and eagerly participated in theater productions. The lonely artist, immersed in his own world, imagined he would spend the rest of his life with his wooden children, until he met the love of his life. Soon, the two had formed a family and had a child of their own. A beautiful little girl. In the midst of the apocalypse, String's wife and daughter were infected. Watching his beloved and his child die before his eyes caused Strings to suffer a mental breakdown. In the end, Strings got his tools back. He turned his unhinged guilt and ruminations into inspiration, creating a new puppet. This puppet is a little, different. It will never leave him. Strings is your Gen 10 Rider Hero. A pretty disturbing backstory in my opinion, but that might be just me. If you max Strings out, you will get a plus 1194.8% attack and defense bonus. A maxed out SE, Generation 9's Rider Hero, provides you with a 1030% attack and defense boost. This is an increase of 160%. Essie was a pretty bad rider hero, due to her third skill at level 5. It reduced damage of her own rider damage. Let's look at String's skills. String's first skill deals 50% additional damage to the target every two rounds. His second skill reduces damage done by the enemy by 50%. His third and last skill deals 15% damage to all enemy troops every two rounds. Strings won't outperform Joker as first choice rider hero in PvP and PvE, but looks very decent. As a rally leader you'll need to max him out anyways as a stat giver to Joker. Connor, the slinger, Walsh was one of the nation's top baseball hitters. As captain, he led his team to the championships. He later retired early after being sidelined by the coaches. When the apocalypse came, Connor found that the game that he loved could also be a way to protect the people he loved. He began to create baseball-related survival equipment, spiked bats, baseball bombs, and defensive gloves. As the infected swarm came closer, Connor formed a self-defense squad to maintain neighborhood security. 
With his unique skills, he protected his family and those around him, becoming a hero in the community. Soon after, Connor chose to join the Final Hope, seeking permanent refuge for his family while also hoping to do his part to defend against the infected. Connor is the last hero we will discuss today. He is the hunter of Gen 10. If you max Connor out, you will get a plus 1194.8% attack and defense bonus. Just like the previous two heroes, that's an increase of 160%. Let's look at Connor's skills. His first skill deals 14% damage every three rounds and after the first round it deals 14% damage to all the troops. His second skill reduces damage of the enemy target by 15% and deals 7.5% more damage. His final skill reduces enemy's damage by 20%. That will be it for today. I hope you learned something about Gen 10. Are you excited for it to drop or will you skip this generation? Let us know in the comments. Bye bye.